Morning, Trainiacs. Just a delightful little ride, like 48k, a little bit of hills. Saw some baboons. I saw Javier Gomez. Saw a guy named Chris Dells from Germany who claims he's going to win the 35 to 39 age category. Not if somebody you know and hopefully subscribe to has anything to say about it. Let's be honest, I don't think I'm winning. But hey, it's finally nice. I can show you the place. We're gonna meet Lucy Charles today. We're gonna go to the expo. We got a big day planned, let's go. With it being Wednesday of race week, that means everything is open. Everything's starting to get set up. We got the finisher line right here. We got transitions starting to get set up. All the expo is set up. We gotta go pick up our media credentials. The board over there with everyone's name on it is set up. You can spend some money. Let's go walk around, check stuff out. So the swim is over there, and we bike out there, go all the way around the Cape, come back in, down the coast here. This is transition to, and then we run out along the boardwalk that way, just do a little up on a small hill, come back, past transition to a lighthouse that's down here, turn up the road, come back, run here, and that's one loop. We do that twice, then we run past the expo tents here, and we run in these, these, uh, these little archways here, make a turn, boom, into the finisher chute. Let's go and find our name here, shall we? Well, would you look at that? Taryn Gazelle, Jan Ferdino. That, I mean, that placing would be nice. Take that. Officially, official now, actually media this year. Well, Trainiacs, now that it is uh, nice out, seems like all the triathletes in the world are congregating here. Hi, Travel. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Good to meet you. It seems like everyone is here and we're bringing tons of people to the area. And as a part of that, Iron Man just announced, got the email that they donate $100,000 to legacy projects with four projects in Port Elizabeth. Building new early birds daycare in Walmer, restoring children's cottages in an eastern province, providing new Isuzu school buses for Heatherbank pre and primary school, and building a learn to swim pool at the new community center. This is great. This is motivating stuff. All right, I wanna go say hi to this guy. Lucy Charles, welcome to the Triathlon Terran Podcast. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks for having me. I'm a big fan, so yeah, it's great to be on. That's, <laughs> I told you, that's weird to hear. <laughs> yeah, when I reached out to you, I was like, I'm a big fan of you. <laughs> Would you rather have to complete an Ironman biking in a hipster, on a hipster single speed, or wear Converse Chuck Taylors on the run? Oh, wear Converse. Would you rather try to complete the swim with a swim cap over your eyes or complete the run wearing flippers the entire time? Uh, I could run with flippers. Would you rather have the Gwen Jorgensen treatment, having your significant other make all of your meals or an in-house personal masseuse? Uh, in-house personal masseuse. Would you rather have the CEO of Iron Man, Andrew Messick's power or Mike Riley's smile and charm? Mike Riley's smile and charm. Would you rather win an Olympic gold medal or Kona? Olympic gold. Would you rather have to do every Ironman on a road bike or all of your training in racing flats? All of my training in racing flats. Would you rather have to do every run on a treadmill for life seconds. or swim with no goggles for a year? Treadmill. 
Would you rather have to complete the bike wearing a parachute the whole time or run wearing a full suit and tie? Run in a full suit and tie. Good Damn. call. Seven. <laughs> Seven. So how we've been starting out, I don't know if you've been listening, but in person we've started off with a segment called Explain That Gram. Okay. So I've dug deep into your Instagram. Oh God. And I've, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right to be scared. I have dug up something from August 25th, 2014, and you have to explain what the hell is going on here. You are wearing a blue 70 wetsuit and a crocodile hat. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> Fill me in here. Um, so I can't even remember where I found that, but I found that. It probably sent you my sister. She studies art, so she probably found it somewhere. And I thought it'd be a fun idea. We had some like beginners at our triathlon club, so I thought it'd be a fun idea to like try and terrify them with the crocodile head. <laughs> so I was in the lake trying to go along like like a almost crocodile shark and uh, <laughs> scare the life out of them, but. They knew it was me straight away, so it kind of plan failed, but um, yeah, we got a few laughs from it. <laughs> so I swam from the age of about eight or nine, I started to get into swimming. Um, was super competitive, even like as an eight-year-old, like I wanted to win everything. So I quite quickly got stuck into training, and then I was like, oh, I want to do the hardest event there is. So um, I was like a 200 fly swimmer at nine years old. Oh, gross. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, that's the hardest, I'll do that one. And we were like, right, should we just enter in Ironman? So we like went back to the hotel and then signed up for Ironman UK the following year. And was just like, oh, we'll be fine. Like, we've got mountain bikes, we can do it on them. And it, we soon learned, oh, hell no, you can't do it on a mountain bike. I had kind of done eight weeks of training I'd split it up with a 70.3 in Lanzarote as part of my training block and I didn't race very well there, I was just so tired like I'd been in the middle of a block so I kind of was basing everything off of that thinking well that wasn't very good like if I'm gonna go to Kona I need to be better than that and I've only got four weeks to kind of turn it around get fresher and, and hopefully race well so I was like you know what top 10 would be amazing so if I can get top 10 I'll be happy. I'm, I'm obviously very competitive so I was like oh, if I can shoot for the podium then I'll, then I'll go for it but I definitely didn't expect to come second it was yeah crazy. Oh, how not to taper for a race. Carry a bag full of camera gear around let me show you everything we got. Drone, a DJI Mavic Air, tripod, a little mini one, podcasting, bunch of equipment there. Second camera setup here with extra lenses, all the media kit that we need to check in the media. And you, another camera. Let's see what's in media accreditation kit. Ooh. Iron Man 70.3 pin. Holy smokes, this is thick. Official souvenir magazine. Look at this. Look at this. Info on everyone. T-shirt, this is what we wear to let everyone know that we can go places. Dude ski picture from Kona last year, Taryn Gazelle. Instead of saying Triathlon Canada, Triathlon Terran, video journalist. How about just cool dude? Now when it comes to all this, uh, it's amazing. It's surreal. I probably met, I wanna say like 30, 40 of you today. I really am sorry that I couldn't just stay and talk to everyone there like around the four o'clock and on point because I had to go and do that interview with Lucy Charles, but being able to be here is, it's a dream to be able to be in the triathlon world as a job. Not working for somebody else and not having to risk and like put myself on the line of like injury and, and have to perform like I used to when I was a curler, but literally just being here is part of the job. Um, and I have all of you to thank for all of that. So, thank you. And then back, you know, there was like, it's about three years ago, 
that Mel and I, we went to VidCon, which is a convention for YouTubers, not me. It was other YouTubers. We we're learning how to YouTube for where we worked at the time. And I kind of, I got to see one of the YouTubers who I really looked up to at the time and it wasn't all he was cracked up to be. I was like, oh, you're kind of pretentious, not a huge fan. And Mel joked, she was like, don't meet your heroes, I'll only let you down. And it's not to say that I think I'm somebody's hero, but I really, I just kind of want to get across to you that even though I might not be able to spend as much time with everyone as I can, or I, I, I don't know, don't act the way you expect me to, because in these videos we can edit, you know, a lot of energy and just be really big and upbeat. I hope, and I just feel so much gratitude towards you that every single one of you that I meet, I hope that, I don't know, I just want to let you know that I thank you for everyone who does come out. And I do hope that when you meet me, it's not like that, where it's like, oh, this guy isn't very cool, but I mean, if it is, I get it. Um, because I just really appreciate y'all, and that's it. I think that's it. I wasn't really sure where I was going with that. I think it kind of came together with something. So, Trainiacs, there we go. Tomorrow is the pro panel. We're gonna film that from a couple of different angles. We're gonna cover that whole thing. That's gonna be as always, one of the most popular videos of this entire week. So if you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. And if you are subscribed, thank you. That's it. Just thanks.